Howdy guys, what's going on? It's Jay here, favorite Asian vlogger from Vancouver. Going to pick up some pizza right now, and I'm actually gonna pick up two large pizzas for myself and then a medium pizza for my sister. Love this place, Omega Pizza. It's gonna be a mukbang style. Always, always review it. I ended up getting a pizza that's out of the norm I usually get. I typically get the Canadian very gooey, very doughy pizza. It's kind of like bar pie. And I stepped out of my comfort zone and decided to pick up a Greek pizza. So feta, olives, and I forgot the other ingredient. So feta, olives, and it's on the tip of my tongue. I'll do a reveal as it comes, but yeah, that's essentially it. So stay tuned. Gonna go there now. And they said that it's gonna take like 20 to 25 minutes. So I have waited like 10 minutes, drive there 10 minutes, and I'm gonna run like a quick errand as well. So come along for the ride. Stay tuned. We have arrived, so just gonna go in, enter. There's music, so I'll pause this. Alrighty guys, got the goods. Just headed to the car, and I pre-planned it in the sense that I had my car door open. So, I'm just gonna strap this in, and uh, make sure it's secured. Actually, I think this is just find the way it is. So stay tuned for the food review. See you soon. Check out these uh, neighborhoods in Canada, guys. A lot of trees, embracing nature. Doesn't get any better than this. These houses are decent. I mean, like these are pretty massive houses. But yeah, just the sheer fact that they have a lot of like greenery, shrubs, trees. It pays homage to their uh, surroundings. But yeah, less me talking while driving. I'll stay focused and uh, continue on with this food review. Stay tuned. Look at this massive house, guys. Boom. Where I live, there's like so many massive houses, like this one right here coming up. Boom. I mean, like, you literally are living in a mansion honestly and these houses i wouldn't say they're like the most biggest houses in the city i live in but i mean like they're still pretty large right and the fact that people are building such large houses in a community like this especially it is very different right i mean like there's i'm actually debating if i should do like a a driving vlog where look another a driving vlog around like the rich area uh, where there's a city where the houses are like tens of millions of dollars I think that would be a cool idea but of course I would need to like um, drive around because I wouldn't want to walk and like take the ride the bus right so maybe stay tuned for that in the future already is so have brought the pizzas inside boom that's our seat just ignore that boom pizza one it's from my sister canadian Ooh, looks, smells delicious but just keep that on the side here got a same one but in the large size there's one two three four five six seven eight uh one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10. So 10 slices here, and this is the Greek. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, so 10 and 10. <laughs> but yeah, uh, probably not take the boxes where I'm gonna plan to eat this. 
probably just going to put on some plates. So just do that now and uh, stay tuned. Alrighty guys, got my plate here. Probably going to grab uh, three and three. Might be a bit too much here. Get maybe two of these ones here. I'll just quote unquote say this is like a veggie pizza. Literally half a pizza here. So it's falling apart. What I'm gonna do is dive into this mukbang with you guys. Stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so set up the camera. Once again, thank you again for staying tuned. If you haven't already clicked subscribe, please do so now. Stay up to date for food vlogs, mukbangs, tutorials, all that great stuff. Got three slices of Canadian, which is on my right, which is probably your left. And I got two feta, two Greek with tomatoes, olives, and feta cheese. I'm gonna dive into this because I've never had it before. So, but cheers guys. Hmm. It's like mac and cheese. Very cottage cheesy. Could use a spicy kick to it, but all in all, pretty good. When it comes to pizza, I always get cravings. For whatever reason, I cycle between like broad chicken, pizza, like noodles, like a soup kind of situation. But today I felt like it was a pizza day, it was a must. Mm. The sausage paired with the bacon, it's the right amount of like like saltiness and the mushrooms add a nice creaminess something that cheese cannot do I've had pizza where like the meat lovers like the the pepperoni that they use is like lunch and meat. It was so weird. You gotta keep it OG. You gotta keep it original. You gotta keep it what it actually is. Salami. And this isn't sponsored by Coke by any means, but I'm actually feeling a little thirsty. Cheers. When it comes to like the debate of Joey pizza versus like thin crust, it's really hard to decide. Good pizza is good pizza, right? I mean, like, for me personally, bang for your buck, 100%, like, this thicker, doughier pizza. It 
it has like that um factor. But if I feel like I've had a meal already and I want something to top it off, then thin crust would probably be my jam. I've yet to try. Pizza that has lobster with it. Or even travel. I would say that'd be a pretty cool experience. There's like this huge YouTuber. <clears throat> In terms of subscribers, he's just been like gaining subs like crazy. The uh, YouTuber's name is Mr. Beast, and I saw a video where he literally spent like thirty thousand dollars on pizza or something like that. Like gold plated wings. When you get to that level of like eating those extravagant foods, personally speaking, I'm not too sure if the quality is like up here. I'm pretty sure it's just a little better. It's just like the extravagance of like it's gold plated or it has like a really expensive ingredient. Because I remember filming a video where I ate caviar. So caviar itself, it's it was kind of different. In the sense that it was kind of like a nice subtle appetizer. But it didn't really stand out to me. I would say the feta or the Greek actually, it's a nice like equalizer to all this like meat and cheese. But I prefer the Canadian pizza better. some trusty napkins <clears throat> fingers aren't as greased up as I was expecting I've been watching a lot of pizza reviews when it comes to like the undercarriage of the crust people just get the pizza oven like burst it up, like crank up the heat, like 400 plus. And the cooking, cooking space is so small, so the heat just bounces up and down, not like an oven, right? It's really hard to say honestly like oven compared to coal fire wood fire etc <laughs> pardon me <laughs> pardon me I mean like <clears throat> If you cook brisket and you got like the apple smoked wood, 
the flavor transfers, right? Does the wood flavor smokiness for pizza make a big difference? Me personally, this pizza's all. <coughs> Pardon me. No. Need to wash my jacket. For me, this does it. A little doughy. And this is probably like blasphemy to you guys, like vegan crust, but I just not not a crust person. Overall, good pizza. The two balance each other out. Wouldn't get the Greek on its own. I think it needs that factor of having meat to it, but it's all good. Anyways, thanks again for staying tuned. Stay safe, stay healthy, subscribe, and catch you in the next review, guys. Peace.